my dear beloved family how are you all doing as you can see i am doing good and i know you are doing perfectly well all right my wonderful family if you are just seeing my face for the first time i am agatha progress china on youtube and i come across your way every blessed day in this channel we react to all videos and in this channel as well our opinion is highly needed so why don't you drop your comment in a very constructive way so that we all will jubilate in the comment section as you know i don't understand what to know about this video that you're about to watch but i do hope you pick some sense from this video all right my wonderful family let me drop the video so watch it together and don't forget not to subscribe share this video with your friends and family so they know all what is going on in the global world today right now let's watch your video and i will be right back this is no longer a news anymore how nigeria police tortured three ipob members to death this is another latest one right now now let us come to think of it we already know that every day they do this but nobody is there to challenge them. Nobody is there to talk to them. That is why they are doing what they are doing. So let's go into the news in details. Three persons died in prison on Sunday after they were allegedly tortured by security operatives. The indigenous people of Biafra has accused Ebony State Governor David Dumaye of convincing with federal security agents to torture and kill Southeast residents for supporting Biafra agitation. According to IPOB, three persons died in prison on Sunday after they were allegedly tortured by some operatives and that more than 300 personnel are currently languishing in several prisons in the state. You see, this happened just on Sunday here. And these people right now, they are gone. Oh my goodness, they are gone. And nobody is saying anything about it. The Ebony State government went ahead to colonize with the federal government to bring more soldiers so that they can torture the people because why? They claim to be IPOB. But come to think of it, I think that everybody in Southeast belong to the IPOB. Yes. That is the indigenous people of Biafra. That is Biafra land. If you are in a, if you are in Biafra land, you are automatically an IPOP. Yes, you are. Everybody, so they should be doing the needful. Nobody is complaining. Nobody is talking to them. Nobody is challenging them. But look at what is going on. They tortured these people just on Sunday here. They tortured three of them to death, and three hundred are still there. That is more than 300 are still there, but nothing to be done. They have not seen the one that is going on in another part of Nigeria. IPOP spokesperson Emmanuel Pohanfu reviewed this in a statement made available to Sa reporters on Tuesday. The statement read, The global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, under the command and leadership of our great leader Mazina de Kalu, strongly condemns the is sensing killing and unprovoked attack and adoption of those suspected to be IPOP members and Eastern Security Network operatives in Ebony State by the wicked Nigeria Security Agency. This atrocity is being purponized with the convicts of the Ebony State Governor David Umaye and the informable Ebube security outfit. Hmm. Their intention is to on large terror on innocent citizens of Ebony State and probably stop them from supporting the agitation for Biafra restoration. These agents of oppression supported by Governor David Umaye have continued to kill IPOP members and innocent Biafra target them in Star Security Network Operative. Over 300 members of IPOP are currently languishing in jail and other detained facilities across Ebony State and many have died in prison. So heartbroken. Two days ago, three people died in prison because of tortures from the security agency. Those who were confirmed dead inside the Ebony State prison. Oh my word. And others who were suffering from torsion met out to them by the Ebony State Governor, back Nigeria Security Agency, who derived joy in, in languishing or slaughtering innocent Biafrans. 
IPOP caution Umaye not to turn a bone into another Imo state, which is called a slaughter ground. These oppressors must be held accountable because they commit more atrocity every day against the wonderful people of Biafra. We are therefore calling our governor David Umaye as situations and friends to caution him because we won't tolerate this barbaric any further. A boy people should consult David Dumaye before he turns a boy into another slaughter ground like Imo states. It is only shameful that why the federal government, with the, su with the support of northern governors, is busy <laughs> freeing and rehabilitating captured Fulani terrorists and bandits. Some South East governors are busy killing their own people who volunteer themselves to protect their home from invaders who continuously slaughtered our mothers, wives, and sisters in the bush and forest in our territory. The statement had it. So, my wonderful family, you see the rate of injustice here. You see what is going on. When the northern area, the northern part of Nigeria, they are busy singing, dancing, jubilating, being happy, backing their own, saying that, yes, these people, they are my own. They are clapping hands for them. Tell me, the, the, the ones in Southeast, they busy throwing their own children to the den. They just want them to be slaughtered just because they are respecting the order from the Funani, from the Funani government. Now tell me, how many Funani people are in the prison in Southeast? You won't find any. Even if they are caught, they will release them before the, 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 the set of the day because if they try it, it will be a problem for them. But if it would have been the one in South East, nobody cares. You can't even go there. Now the one they are wanting the video my is this. He should not turn a boy to another emo state because it's not going to be so easy for him. That is unacceptable. That is absolute nonsense. You slaughter other people's children as if they are your own. Even your own children flew out of the country every year and there. Move everywhere freely. But no, you said that those people that support IPOP, anybody that you see is this that security network, anybody that you see is IPOP, you start killing, you start doing unnecessary things. My people, if we are not wise and use this governorship election to show them that yes biafra are one then <laughs> we have a lot we, ha we have our own self to blame we have to show these people that biafras they rule the southeast by benching or by cutting this their so-called election that is coming if not they are going to do more and nobody is ready to give them that opportunity anymore. Enough is enough. Where they are killing the beautiful people of Biafra, is that the way they do to other parts of Nigeria? No. This only happened in this yeah. southeast. And this is what we must fight across. This is what everybody must fight to make sure this thing does not work out. Imagine, those people they arrest today, they keep torturing me, they, they keep beating them, they keep Keep doing them on things that are not really right, things that are unnecessary. For them to go or to die, they will say it's minus one. But the ones in yeah. but the ones in another part of Nigeria, the Funani henchmen that will come and do all sorts of things in our bush forest, they leave them to go free. This got to stop. So, my wonderful family, this brings us to the end of today's update. Please and please and please do well to share this video with your friends and family. Let them know the atrocity that the Nigerian government has been putting in us. And if you know that you haven't subscribed to this beautiful channel, my wonderful people, hands of applause to you. What are you waiting for, please? Click on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. I see you when I see you. I choose to go right now and see you again in a very brief way. Bye-bye. We love Mazna Vicaro. Oh yes, we love him. And we are not going to forget him in a hurry. In everything that we do, we remember you this day. His excellency Mazna Vicaro. We love you, we miss you, and we believe, hopefully, we see you soon, and we all rejoice and be happy together. All right, watch this video, and I will be right back.